your father wants you? Nine, ten. <laughs> you skip numbers three, two, eight. Hey, mind your own business. Learn how to count. <laughs> Don't get bossy. Just because you're my sister now doesn't change our master-slave relationship. <laughs> That'll do it. Look at that. Frightening, isn't it? <laughs> now the other one. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Boy, lifting these weights makes you strong. Makes you strong. <laughs> wow! That's what I call pumping iron! <laughs> okay, how's that? Any clearer? Well, it's much clearer. Great. But now the picture's only two inches high. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Strange, but true. Hello, Mrs. Lawson. Remember me? Oh, Olivia Fernwald. Of course, uh, the nice social worker that helped us with Vicky's adoption. <laughs> yes, Pumpkin? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I I'm here as part of the usual follow-up on adopted children. Make sure that they're happy in their new homes. Well, Vicky's having the time of her life. Oh, she just <laughs> loves it here. Good. I'd like to talk to her, if I may. Of course. Our pleasure. <laughs> Can I do it inside the house? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Tell me, uh, how is Vicky doing in school? School? Um... Well, uh, she hasn't been to school yet. No, may I ask why not? Chicken Measles. <laughs> I beg your pardon. The Measles. chicken pie. <laughs> the poor kid, if it's not one thing, it's another. You know? <laughs> yes, yeah, she's very frail. Oh. Mom, Dad, watch. You got to see this. Come here, Vicky. <laughs> Did you say she was frail? Those are fake weights, you know, styrofoam. Here, I'll take that, Vicky. <laughs> oh, Ted, you comedian. He's just the life of the party. <laughs> oh. Uh, Mrs. Fermwell, you remember our son? Mm. Hi. Hello, Jamie. Oh, Vicky. Oh, I hear you've been ill. How do you feel, dear? I feel like this. <laughs> She's another comedian. Oh, like father, like daughter. <laughs> Jamie, take Vicky to her room so she can lie down and rest. <laughs> right. Come on, Vicky. I do not lie down and rest. I stand up in my cabinet all night with my eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> Is she a funny kid or what, huh? <laughs> Sleeps with a Joan Rivers doll. <laughs> Can we talk, you know? <laughs> you know? Well, she seems to be feeling a little better. Well, I'm quite concerned about her schooling. Now, she has to go as soon as possible, or else have a tutor at home. Don't we have any other choices, Mrs. Fernwald? Yes. We can take Vicky away, or you can go to jail. We'll get the tutor. <laughs> Excellent. And I may have just the man for you, Donald Corbett. I'll call him and see if he can pop by tomorrow, if that's all right with you. Oh, the sooner the better. And thanks for taking such an interest in Vicky. It's all part of my job. Ow! Oh. oh, this is great. First we have to adopt a robot, now we have to educate it. What next? Oh. Well, let's just hope she doesn't meet another robot and want to get married. Oh. <laughs> Joan? Joanie! Joanie! Yeah, I... Oh. Honey, remember, one of us has to be with the tutor and Vicky at all times. Okay. I'll remember, honey. <laughs> Not you, this honey. That's probably him. Okay. Mrs. Lawson? Uh, that's right. Mr. Corbett? Correct. 
Now that the niceties are over, shall we get down to business? I take it you are Mr. Lawson. That's right. You can take it that I am Vicky. <laughs> I figured that out already. Your size gives you away. I'm programmed to be an average 10-year-old child. <laughs> Kids, boy, are they into computer talk these days. <laughs> Uh, would you like something, Mr. Corbett? Uh, coffee? Tea? Uh, uh, no, thank you. Caffeine keeps me awake. And if you have a dull child, I can uh, catch a few winks. <laughs> Shall we begin? Uh, I would like to uh, establish the level of Vicky's intelligence, uh, or lack of it. Oh, uh, Vicky's pretty smart. I'll be the judge of that. He'll be the judge of that. <laughs> well, at least we shall start out on the right foot. Start out on the right foot. <laughs> She's a bit of a comedian sometimes. <laughs> I am not amused. <clears throat> Sit, Vicky. Now, Vicky, I want you to read the first chapter of this textbook while I discuss the terms of my possible employment with your fortunate parents. <laughs> My uh, working habits are... <laughs> what is the child doing? Uh, she just loves to count pages. <laughs> You're right, Vicky? No, I read the first chapter. What? I forgot to slow down her scanner. What was that? He said you have a very nice manner. <laughs> oh, yes, I have. So, <clears throat> you read the entire chapter, you say? Yes, I say. <laughs> well, then, you can undoubtedly tell me what you read. I can undoubtedly tell you what I read. American History, 5th grade by James Plummer, copyright 1983, Library of Congress, catalog, publications, data, PS, 345 That's enough! <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Just a lucky guess. <laughs> lucky guess? She's memorized it word for word. Vicky, read chapter two. Read chapter two. <laughs> I have read chapter two. Incredible. Vicky, when did Columbus sail to America? Under the patronage of Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain, Christopher Columbus set sail for the East Indies in 1492, despite prevailing superstition that the Earth was flat. That's enough! <laughs> word for word, again. That proves it beyond any doubt. Mr. and Mrs. Lawson, this is not a normal child. Uh, uh, what do you mean, not normal? She's a prodigy, a child genius. Oh, no, 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 no. You're giving her too much credit. She's just an average, fairly dumb kid with fast eyes. <laughs> Mr. Lawson, you don't realize what we have here. I shall begin tutoring her tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Isn't that kind of sudden? We mustn't waste time. She's a flower waiting to bloom. And I shall be her gardener. <laughs> Until tomorrow, Vicky. Until tomorrow. No! Oh! <laughs> Good heavens, you're strong. Eat your heart out, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> this, is, this is simply amazing. Mr. Corbett. No, 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 I cannot wait to tell the scientific and academic community about her. Mr. Corbett. No, no, no. Goodbye, you adorable little brain you. <laughs> Honey, we can't let this guy in the house. I mean, sooner or later, he's going to find out that he's a robot. I am a child genius. You don't realize what we have here. <laughs> Vicky. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> One more adjustment, and the new Vicky will be ready for a tutor, Mr. Corbett. Oh, Ted, I hope this works. It has to. The last thing this family needs is a child genius. Remember that the next time I bring home my report card. <laughs> oh, that's him. 
Okay, we'll see how brilliant he thinks Vicky is now. Go on. Oh, please come in. Nice to see you. Of course it is. <laughs> Mr. Lawson? Uh -huh. And how is my brilliant Vicky today? I'm an adorable little brain. <laughs> you certainly are, and you have one of my most endearing qualities, a total lack of modesty. <laughs> Mr. Corbett, this is our other child, Jamie. I'm not a child genius, but what I lack in brains, I make up in personality. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> Well, I'd like to get started. Uh, sit, Vicky. <clears throat> oh, uh, could we be alone, please? Uh, if you don't mind, Mr. Corbett, Vicky is very shy, and I think she'd be more comfortable if we were present. So would we. As you wish. You might even learn something, for which I would charge extra, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, Jamie, uh, you can run along. Thanks. I wouldn't want to be accidentally overeducated. <laughs> All right, now, Vicky. Uh, first, I would like to review uh, what you read yesterday. <laughs> As if I have to. <laughs> uh, Vicky, who was Christopher Columbus? She was an Italian explorer. She? Uh, don't you mean he? He, she. It's hard to tell in those crazy outfits. <laughs> Vicky, how many ships did Columbus have? 1,492. Oh, now, Vicky, he had three ships. No, he had three children with Queen Isabella, called Nina, Pinta, and Maria. I don't understand this. Vicky, why did Columbus set sail for America? To prove that Queen Isabella was flat. <laughs> here she is totally confused well we tried to tell you yesterday mr corbett sad to say but vicky has a learning disability what kind of learning disability well she can absorb anything she reads but she can only retain it for a short period of time oh this is terrible this is a tragedy this was going to make me <laughs> well under the circumstances i don't see how i could tutor her right well we thought not that's too bad yes yes <laughs> I could have made history with that child. What a loss to the world. What a loss to the world. <laughs> you know, Vicky is a most unusual case. And frankly, what you need is a tutor who is very special, unique, brilliant, a man at the top of his profession. <gasps> Wait a minute. I'm describing me. <laughs> this is a challenge, but I shall rise to it. I do not have a gigantic ego for nothing. <laughs> See you next week, Vicky. See you next week. <laughs> History begins Monday. Oh, Tim, we just keep on getting in deeper and deeper. <sighs> Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Oh, boy, do I have an idea. Oh, boy, do I have an idea. <laughs> Listen, Vicky, it's because of you were in this mess, so butt out and go to your cabinet. I'm batting out. <laughs> Honey, why didn't I think of this before? Now, when you were in college, what were you studying? Boys. <laughs> you were studying to be a teacher. Well, right, I was going... Oh, no, 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 wait, wait a minute. I know what you're thinking, Ted, but, but I never did take my test for the teaching accreditation. Why not? Well, a little thing called our honeymoon got in the way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And I gave you an A in Honeymoon 101. <laughs> I remember. Honey, you can be Vicky's tutor and our school problems are over. I'll call the Board of Education and find out when they're giving the accreditation test. Oh, Ted, I haven't studied in over 10 years. I don't remember any of that stuff. So you'll cram for it. We'll stall Corbett till then. Honey, this is our last chance. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, OK. OK, now, Mom, if a rectangular field is 25 feet longer than it is wide, and the area is 3,750 square feet, 
What are the dimensions of the field? Uh, 50 by 70. 50 by 75. Are you sure? A child genius does not make mistakes. <laughs> What's the next question, Jamie? Mathematical postulates state that if equals are divided by equals, the results are what? Can you give me a hint? That's cheating. Hinting isn't cheating, it's hinting. <laughs> My teacher doesn't give hints. I'm your mother, give me a hint. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Mom's having trouble with her homework. Oh. Why don't we send her to bed without any dinner? <laughs> oh, Ted, there's so much to learn. Well, stay with it, honey. You know, you still got a few days before the test. And I will be making dinner tonight, so you don't have to interrupt your study. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Mom, can't you interrupt your studying just this once? I've tasted Dad's cooking. <laughs> thanks, Jamie. Go get washed up, all right? Okay. Come on, Vicky. I don't wash. You're also lucky you don't eat. <laughs> ah, get out of my kitchen. Move, 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 move. No, come on, honey. Keep studying. I don't want anything to bother you. Thank you. So what should I make for dinner? <laughs> Whatever you want. You got it. Do we have any spaghetti? <laughs> Next is sugar. And the sugar is? Next is spaghetti. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, here it is. The old spaghetti out. Get some out of the old box. <clears throat> <laughs> Look at this. I mean, it, it, like, it doesn't fit. We're going to need, like, a longer pot here. Break it in half. Oh, yeah. I mean, how dumb am I, huh? <laughs> Why don't I just do it? No, no, no. Sit, sit down, honey. I don't want anything interrupting you. I mean, I got it now. Let me set the oven for, what, 350, 400? <laughs> What's going on here, Jamie? She's changing the bottle. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll do it. Put it down, Vicky. <laughs> ow, ow, ow! I didn't say on my foot. You didn't say not on your foot. <laughs> Where's your mother? She's not back from the exam yet. But it was over hours ago. Hello, Mr. Lawson. Mrs. Fernwald, what a nice surprise. <laughs> Please, come in. Hello, children. Hello, Mrs. Fernwald. Hello, Mrs. Fernwald. Well, I just thought I'd drop by and see how our little student is coming along with Mr. Corbett. Well, uh, actually, uh, she hasn't started with Mr. Corbett yet. Uh, uh, he's a very fine tutor, but we may have found someone we like even better. <laughs> oh, someone you know personally? Yes. I met her as a baby and when I was in the hospital. <laughs> I assume this person is properly accredited. I hope so. Ken! Oh, uh, hello, everybody. Honey, look who dropped by. Oh. Don't you have anything to tell Mrs. Fernwald about Vicky's new tutor? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I'll be tutoring her myself, Mrs. Fernwald. All right! Yeah, yeah, right! Right, honey! Yeah. Way to go, Mom! Way to go, Mom! <laughs> We're a very supportive family. Well, I'll be going. But I will be back periodically to check up on Vicky's progress. Oh. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Perfect family. <laughs> Honey, you did it! Oh. 
<laughs> Barely. I, I had to wait around and beg the examiner to grade my paper mm. right away. They usually don't do that. Well, how'd you manage it? Well, let me put it this way. Uh, don't be surprised if he phones me for a date. <laughs> She's a small 